Welcome back to my channel everyone. Sri Tips here. It is New Year's Eve day. What I have here is some gold plated pins, computer scrap that I got from my good friend Linda. I'd like to thank her for allowing me to uh, experiment with this material. And what I've done is I've taken a little bit of these pins and I've put it up here in a small beaker with just a few of them to uh, do an experiment to see if we can dissolve the base metals with hydrochloric acid before I go all in with the entire batch. So we're going to see how this little batch turns out and then uh, make a decision on what to do with the rest of these gold plated pins that were given to me by my good friend Linda. This has been boiling in hydrochloric acid for about six hours. And I'm starting to see a few foils peeling off and floating in there. This may not be the proper method. This is just an experiment to see if we can use hydrochloric acid to extract the gold foils. It's probably best to do this in a sulfuric acid stripping cell or maybe using uh, acid peroxide solution. And after I get the solution saturated with metal out of here, I just pour it off into this beaker here. If you look down in here, you can see that there's some tiny gold foils floating on top of this solution. Here's a look at the pins that we're processing that Linda gave me. Uh, there's just a very thin coating of gold on these pins. And this may not be the way to go here, but we're going to try this experiment with hydrochloric acid. As you can see, those pins are magnetic. But I do see some gold foils floating down here. Uh, I just wanted to point out also that uh, I don't refine other people's material. I'm not a professional refiner. I'm just doing this because Linda gave me the pins. Uh, this is my hobby and I don't refine other people's material for a fee. It's taken about three hours to boil all of this acid down. So what we're gonna do now is pour this off into our waste container. And then I'm gonna add some fresh acid. And let this continue to cook. Until we get all the magnetic material dissolved out of that out of those pins It's the following day. We've had this on now for about eight hours. I'm gonna pour this solution off. It's black, got some gold specks on top there. I'm just gonna pour this off into this container. See what we've got left down in the bottom. Don't have a whole lot left. Just a few pieces in there. I'm gonna add some hydrochloric acid. I'm going to keep going with this. Here you can see there's some flecks of gold down on the bottom of the beaker. It's not very much, but uh, we're just going to keep going with this and see where it takes us. All right, I'm going to go all in now. Do is put these pins in a melt dish. Now I'm just going to heat them up a little bit try to burn anything off the oil or grease these are pretty clean it shouldn't be, have to be burnt too much I'm gonna add some hydrochloric acid into this beaker I'll start with about one liter now I'll add the pins to the beaker with the hydrochloric acid just dump them right on in now oh, I'll add the uh, material from our experiment beaker 
right in with the rest of the pins in the beaker. Here you can see the pins are starting to react with the acid. And I'm not expecting a big yield from this. Maybe a half a gram at most. I'll set this up on the heat now. And start boiling this. Our pins have been on boiling now for about two and a half hours. The liquid level's gone down, so I'm going to add some more hydrochloric acid and continue to let this material boil in hydrochloric acid. This has been on boiling now for at least eight hours, and I've uh, added some more hydrochloric acid, and it has reduced down. You can see the volume of liquid is uh, much less than we started with. What I'm going to do now is just pour this off into this container and capture any of the uh, gold foils that might be in this solution. Refill it with fresh hydrochloric acid. There's the pins. We're going to put some fresh hydrochloric acid in here now. And I'm going to set it back up on the heat and allow this to continue to boil and see if we can get all of the base metals dissolved out of our gold pins. I've had the pins boiling in hydrochloric acid for probably 36 hours now. I'm going to reach down in here and get a little bit of this solution on a piece of filter paper and now what we'll do is do a stannous chloride test see if we're putting any precious metals in solution that test is negative no precious metals in solution what I've been doing is adding about one liter of hydrochloric acid at a time and then letting it boil down so what we're going to do is get just a little bit of this solution and put a little bit of it in a spot plate down here. Now I've got some distilled water in a pipette. And I'm going to dilute this down a little bit with a couple drops of distilled water. Here I have some ammonium thiocyanate and I'm going to drop a few of these crystals in this cavity right here that's got a little bit of our solution in it. Uh, this is a sensitive test for iron. If I put these crystals in this spot plate cavity with our solution, if there's iron in solution, it'll turn blood red. Let's see what we get here. Boom, just like that. Blood red means we've got iron in solution. Now we're gonna test for the presence of nickel in our solution out of our beaker. This is some ammonia. We're going to neutralize the solution by adding ammonia to it. You can see it turning blue there. So that tells me we've got copper in solution. Now what we're going to do is pour off this acid solution into this beaker. Get rid of it boiling hydrochloric acid here not a very pleasant substance I've got some welders gloves on to protect my hands from the heat all right I'm just gonna set this down out of the way for a second here's our uh, gold plated pins after about I'm gonna say about 36 hours of uh, boiling and hydrochloric acid. I'm adding some more hydrochloric acid. And we're going to continue this process until we get as much of the base metals dissolved as we can. I'm going to give this a quick swirl. That's what our gold foils are looking like down in there. Not looking too bad. I'm going to set it back up on the heat, cover it up and let it continue to boil in hydrochloric acid. 
It's been about uh, five hours since I added that last dose of hydrochloric acid. I'm just going to reach down in here with a metal rod and see what kind of uh, material we got going on down here. It still feels like it's fairly solid. I do see some loose pieces of gold foil in there but we've got quite a ways to go before we get all the base metals dissolved out of here so we'll just keep going now we're gonna take and get rid of this boiled down solution I'm gonna pour it off into this beaker right here I'm using my welder's gloves because it's very hot. And we'll get a look at our uh, our gold foils, how they're doing. Here's a look at the gold foils down in our beaker. Looks like we still got plenty of base metals. To dissolve out but we're getting there we're making some progress here now what we'll do is add some more hydrochloric acid and get it back up on the heat and continue this process it's about one liter here's a look at the material now that I've got it some acid and I'm just kind of making this up as I go but it looks like we're making progress so now I'm gonna set this up on the heat and we'll just continue boiling this material in hydrochloric acid I'm going to start adding tiny doses of nitric acid, maybe about one ml at a time, and no more to help dissolve out some of those base metals. I'm adding small amounts of nitric acid I'm gonna add this in I'd like you to watch the color change that happens as I put this in notice it's a green color but as I add the nitric acid it turns almost an ink black color I'm only adding a couple of milliliters at a time if I tried to add 10 or 15 milliliters of nitric acid in there right now I'd experience a uh, runaway reaction that would boil over and uh, make a big mess so I'm only adding one or two milliliters at a time I've allowed our scrap to cool overnight I'm adding a little bit of hydrochloric acid to this funnel I've got a filter paper in there and what we're going to do now is start filtering our liquid. I got a suspicion that this liquid is not going to be filtering too easily. trying to filter out the solids so we can collect the solids and get rid of the waste liquid. I uh, am unfamiliar with refining this kind of scrap. That might be particles of gold coming out into the filter right there. 
and uh, I'm doing this as an experiment see look at that precipitate that forms when I spray it with water that's why I wanted to avoid using water but I'm doing this as an experiment to see uh, what the uh, scrap will yield computer scrap is very popular and uh, I normally don't refine this kind of material but I'm going to continue in the interest of science and discovery see what we can get out of this this material has been in my shop now for nine days keep in mind it's something that I normally do not refine and uh, I'm not trying to do this to make money the primary concern here is making the video so what we're going to do though is just go ahead and put this back up on the heat and continue to uh, try to extract those base metals out of there best we can I'm going to go ahead and start filtering these solutions now in the background they could contain particles of gold Again, what we're doing here is trying to recover any gold solids that are in these liquid and remove the liquid from the solids. And what I'll do with that waste liquid is just add it directly into my waste treatment bucket. I'm pouring the rest of the waste solutions through the filter to collect the solids. Notice I'm using hydrochloric acid to rinse the beakers. Uh, water forms an undesirable precipitate, so we avoid using water to rinse the beakers out. We use hydrochloric acid to capture the solids for the refining. Here's the filter. We've got a few gold foils in there as well as possibly some gold powder now what we're gonna do as you can see down here I've still got magnetic material in here that needs to be dissolved out we're adding small doses of nitric acid and I've got to be careful here because we're getting at a point where we're we could start putting gold in solution Right now, any gold that goes in solution from this aquaregia will cement right back out on those base metals that are still present in those pins. But eventually, that metal will get dissolved, and then we won't have anything for the gold to cement back out on. We'll start putting gold in solution. We want to try to avoid that for right now. Here's our solution. I'm seeing gold foils boiling away in there. Uh, let's put our magnet down here and see what we get. Still got magnetic material, which means base metals, iron, probably. Going to make sure we don't have any gold in solution. Reach down in here and get a little bit of that solution on a filter paper. And let's do a stannous chloride test. Shouldn't be any gold in here. As long as we got base metals in our beaker. And uh, I just got to acknowledge here. I may be completely and utterly wrong in the approach that I'm taking to get this uh, gold out of these pins. If you're saying three tips, you're doing it all wrong. You might be right. Because like I said, I don't have much experience working with this kind of material and so this is all an experiment to me I'm gonna add some more hydrochloric acid to this uh, material and if you look down in there it's looking like we're making some progress I can see oh yeah look at that man we're getting somewhere there's still plenty of base metals that has to come out of there all right, we're just going to stir this up. And I'm going to pour this off into here. Capture some of those gold foils. Here you can see the uh, gold just kind of swimming around in that solution that I just poured off. 
Not very much. I'm only expecting about a half a gram from this uh, batch of pure gold when I get done. All right, let me add a little bit more hydrochloric acid and get this back up on the heat and continue this process. I'm gonna add a shot of nitric acid. Keep dissolving the base metals out of there until we get get it to clean up pretty good. Okay, here we go. We're gonna start filtering the solution that we just poured off. It's uh, just warm, so it's not very hot. I can pick it up and pour it in to the filter, and we'll see if we can gather some more of the uh, foils from this solution and capture those in our filter. Here's a look at some of the solids down in the bottom of this beaker. We're going to get this material into our uh, filter now and save it for refining in the next step. I'm getting a status test on the solution just to make sure that we're not putting a whole bunch of gold in solution. And as you can see by that test result, we're not putting any gold in solution. So now what I'm gonna do is add a little bit of hydrochloric acid to the solids, rinse them about a little bit, and then capture any gold foils that are in that solution by pouring them into the filter. Here you can see the magnet is still sticking. So I've got base metals in there that still need to be dissolved. I'm gonna add a little bit of hydrochloric acid and get this back up on the heat. And then once we got it heated up a little bit, we'll add a little bit of nitric acid to continue to dissolve out the base metals to loosen the foils. Here you can see we've got plenty of those gold foils floating around in our solution now. And if you look down here, I've got a full vacuum on this thing. It's pulling the salute. The filter is completely, almost 100% clogged up. And it's just pulling it through one drop at a time. So now I've got to change this out to speed this up. Earlier I made the comment that I was going to save the solution and try to get the any precious metals that might be in the solution out of it but there's going to be so little it's not worth wasting the time going after it so what we'll do is uh once we we're going to collect all of our solids in these filters and then we're going to refine them and that'll be it i'm going to transfer the solution in this filter that's all plugged up into this fresh filter
Here's the filter that we transferred everything to. Notice it's plugged up almost 100% now too. It's just coming out one drip at a time. So what we're going to do now is uh, I've got the solution out of this filter. I'm going to transfer this filter now. This will be our recovered gold foils. I'm going to transfer the whole entire filter into this beaker. Well, at least with this solution, it's uh, cleared up enough to where it's pulling through the filter fairly quickly. All right, if you look in here, we're finally getting to the point where we're starting to see some of the gold foils that we're gonna be refining. about time there's our gold foils those are looking pretty good. I've still got some material down in this large beaker. What I'm going to do is transfer it into a smaller beaker now with some hydrochloric acid. Just rinse it down into this smaller beaker so we can uh, get out those gold foils. What I'm going to try to do here is get the uh, magnetic material that's still in here separated from the gold foils down inside of our beaker if I'm going to be able to do that very well or not but uh, I'm going to give it our best shot here let's transfer that into the speaker Got a little bit of, of iron pieces in there, but most of the gold foils were getting rinsed off of that iron. That's what we're after, those gold foils. Put that in here. Okay, here's most of the iron that's left and uh, there's a little bit of gold in there with it but I'm not gonna waste time trying to get every single little piece we've got most of the iron out of here as you can see I'm not pulling a whole bunch of iron pieces with this magnet a few so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and pour this now right on in here And there's our gold foils, looking pretty good. We should be able to refine these now. Still a few pieces of iron in there, but that's okay. Here's a good look at our recovered gold foils in the filter. That's gonna be our complete recovery right there in this filter. And in the one right back there in the back that we've already uh, added to our beaker that we're going to do our refining in. Finally, we've got our gold foils filtered out. And what we'll do now is uh, put these into this large beaker here that's got our other filter that has... Uh, 
recovered gold in it. Here we go, we're going to add some hydrochloric acid, about 200 milliliters, and now I'm just going to dump in a portion of nitric acid, maybe 10 or 15 milliliters, cover this up, give it a swirl, and then we're going to set this up on the, uh, up on the heat now, and let this dissolve. Okay, this pulled through quickly. I'm gonna rinse it off with a little bit of hydrochloric acid. I'm gonna add a little bit of hydrochloric acid to our reaction back here. Now I'm gonna put the uh, gold foils that we just filtered out put the whole filter paper right on in I'm gonna add a few milliliters of uh, nitric acid here just to make sure I'm not worried about getting too much nitric in here right now that's about 20 milliliters of nitric acid I'm just pour it right on in give this a shake. My goal here is to get everything in the beaker to go into solution. I don't care if I have a whole bunch of excess nitric in there. I want everything in that beaker to dissolve completely if I can get it to go. got some hydrochloric acid in a squirt bottle try to knock that head of foam down a little bit and now what we'll do is reach in with a piece of filter paper get a little of our solution on the filter paper we're gonna do a Stannis test now Let's see what we got going on in here all right we got a faint stain indicating we have gold in solutions not very strong that's like less than a gram per liter based on my experience it's been boiling now for about an hour in aqua regia i see some insoluble stuff in there but i don't think it's metal so i'm going to pull this down off the heat and let this cool and add now. some hydrochloric acid to dilute the solution a little bit cool it down a little bit now we're gonna filter our solution it's still hot but I think we'll be okay just pour it right on in a number two filter here I think my filter paper failed right there's a little hole there's the hole I just put my finger over it and was able to uh, Restore the vacuum, pull all the solution down into the flask. Yeah, I should have known better than to try to filter a hot solution. Uh, gotta let it cool off before we try to. Uh, yeah, the filter is completely. Uh, completely liquefied in there because it's hot. Alright, I was able to get 
everything rinsed back down into our beaker hydrochloric acid in a squeeze bottle it turned out to be a pretty good idea I should have known better to try to filter a hot solution and add some ice and cool right, it off got before. it cooled off now okay here we go we're gonna take the solution and pour it into this beaker do a quick status test verify that we've got gold in solution not very much just like I said I'm expecting a half a gram of gold from this process I'm adding some stump out which is sodium metabisulfite to precipitate out the gold and get it out of this green liquid don't expect a big brown cloud of gold like we usually see because I only got about one half a gram of gold in solution. This is what it looks like when we've got very little gold to precipitate out of the solution. I put four spoons of SMB in here and I know for some folks it's tempting just to keep adding sodium metabisulfite waiting for that big brown cloud of gold to form I'm not gonna add any more sodium metabisulfite I'm just gonna let this sit now and it will precipitate it might take overnight for us to get our gold on the bottom of the solution uh, the bottom of the beaker here This has been allowed to settle overnight. I'm going to pour this waste solution off. Uh, I don't care if it's got a little gold in it. This is all going to get discarded. All right, here's our gold. As I expected, there's very little gold that gets recovered for this kind of scrap. I'm adding a dash of hydrochloric acid. I'm going to add about two milliliters of nitric acid. I'm going to put this on time lapse. It might dissolve without even any heat. That was a 15 minute time lapse. We've got most of that gold to dissolve in cold aqua regia because it's such a small amount. Didn't even take any heat. I'm going to set this up on the heat. There's just a little bit more gold in there that needs to dissolve. Won't take but a second took about 60 seconds now we'll let this cool down took about 15 minutes to get it through that filter here's what's left in the filter I'll put that in my paper storage and hang on to it and here we're going to transfer the gold into a small beaker then we're going to add sodium metabisulfite you'll notice I get some fume production here that means we had excess nitric to solve that problem we just continue to add sodium metabisulfite until 
all the excess nitric gets consumed. It only took one spoon of sodium metabisulfite to precipitate all the gold. Here we're going to get a quick Stannis test just to verify that we've got all of the gold thrown down. You can tell by that negative Stannis test, all the gold has been precipitated. Now the waste solution's got a little color to it, so I'm going to hang on to it and put it in my waste container destined for the stock pot. Now we're going to rinse it off with a little distilled water. Add that rinse to the uh, stock pot container there. And now we'll transfer the gold into a melt dish. And what I do is I just rinse it down into that melt dish with a little bit of water. And then once we get everything in the melt dish, we'll transfer it over to our melt table and melt this up. A little gold bead. Here's our little gold bead, high purity gold, probably 995 purity, looks pretty good. Let's see what we got our weight on this thing. Holy cow, 1.2 grams, 2 grams of pure gold. I was not expecting that from that amount of uh, scrap that we had out there. That is a nice little yield pure gold button bead for all our efforts okay this will conclude the video thank you for watching